Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, it has been a while since I created another video. Uh, I just figured I'd make this one. I hadn't seen this issue showing up in a while. I'm not sure if it is consistent with 8.1, but I figured I will answer it here. There's been a lot of issues where people have more than one user account and the tiles they want them to transfer over. So we're going to make this real quick and easy. As you can see, I have this user named Temporary. It's going to be gone after I finish recording this. So basically to get all of your apps transferred over, all you got to do is click on the store. And from here, move to the right hand side. This charm will come up, click settings, your account, and then sign in. And then whatever Microsoft account you use on the original screen, you will use on this screen. So yeah, as you can see, it brought up every update that I had before. I'm just going to install all those. And then go back. Right click on the top and select your apps. It will bring up every app you had installed from the store on your other account. So I'm not going to need all these. I'm just like I said, this is only temporary. So let's just go with the YouTube player one. Like I said, these are everything that I have on my normal account. <coughs> and of course, this will take some time. Fortunately, I'm not doing this with a lot of apps, so it would take longer. Once you go back to your start menu, you will notice that now everything that you had from one user is now on the other user. And if you want to make sure that those are the only apps that will be there, go to settings, your account, and sign out. Now that you have signed out, go back to your start window, all your apps are still there. But, I mean, this works well if the extra user account is a child's account and you want to make sure they're not actually going to install anything else without your consent. You could just transfer all your current apps over or whichever apps specifically you want to allow them to have. Well, I hope I answered someone's question out there, if there are still people asking about that. And hopefully 8.1 does not have that issue. I'm not certain. I've seen a lot of people have issues with getting 8.1 to work without the Microsoft sign-in. So when I get 8.1 again, I will start answering questions on that one as well.